What is going on everyone? This is Ivan and welcome back to the Ivan Rides YouTube channel. Uh, today is a bittersweet day. Um, we are taking the NAMI Burn E and we are doing the our last ride with it. So this is going to be the last time that we see it on the channel. So whether you're interested in seeing the sights and sounds of New York or you kind of want to be part of the last ride for the NAMI Bernie, sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. It's good to have you on board today. First off, thank you everyone for joining me for this ride. Um, it is bittersweet because this is, like I said in the intro there, our last ride with the, with the Nami Bernie. Um, for those of you that have been with the channel for a while, and for those of you that know me in person, you know, how much I love this scooter and <laughs> over the last almost three years with it I've loved every minute of ownership uh, every ride that I've done with it has been amazing so it's really sad <laughs> to <laughs> let this guy go I know I, sh I know it's an inanimate object I know but I'm one of those people that I tend to get attached and personally invested in my uh, things that I use all the time so yeah that's that's me uh, the reason we are selling the the burn e today is because there's been a couple of new developments in my building and the best I would say compromise was to move on from the from move on from the Bernie and basically uh, downsize from there. So bitter because I'm saying goodbye to my favorite scooter, my favorite PUV, and sweet because we are welcoming a new scooter into the family eventually but you know sad moment but it is what it is but I'm just happy that it is going to a good home because the person that is picking up the scooter is a buddy of mine and I know that He'll treat it well, he'll ride responsibly, and he's not gonna kill himself the moment I hand over the keys to him, so <laughs> that's nice. We're actually meeting up with the guys over there at Fluid Free Ride so that they can look it over one more time before we actually uh, move it on to the new owner. And the new owner and a friend of ours is uh, waiting for us at Fluid Free Ride, so that's where we're actually heading to right now. I'm probably going to try and keep this uh, whole ride pretty whole here because I, I do want to remember this. This is probably where I should insert something, you know, super cliche like it's not the beginning, it's not the end, things are never going to be the same again or something, something, you know. But I, I don't really have much of a cliche <laughs> uh, profound statement right now to say goodbye to my baby here but for now this is goodbye in the future when things change and my wife and I have our own home that I can have a garage to keep my PEVs in and or have an apartment in a building that is a bit more PEV friendly, I'm definitely, 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 definitely getting 
uh, a Burn E, Burn E2 Max, Burn E3 Max, whatever is available at that time. I'm definitely getting one and adding it to the rotation. So temporary goodbye, I guess. But we'll be reunited again. And that's hopefully sooner than later. <sighs> you know, in honor of, I guess, this last ride that we have with the Burn E, uh, I do just kind of want to summarize my ownership experience over the last, what, almost three years now with my Nami Bernie. You know, everyone already knows I sing the praises for this, for this scooter all the time. The performance is incredible. The comfort is exceptional. The ride feel, power delivery, everything is amazing. But the one thing that I do have to keep kind of uh, hammering in here that I guess most people tend to ignore is the scooter's reliability. <laughs> I mean, let's... <laughs> one last time! Oh, my good buddy here. Uh, let's be a little bit more responsible here. There's there's quite a bit of uh, people on the on the bridge with us today, so <laughs> I'm sorry. What was I saying? <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, reliability. The scooter in a little under three years has only been down three times, and each of those three times were a hundred percent my fault. The first time was I was speeding at night in a neighborhood I wasn't familiar with and I hit a pothole at speed and shattered the front rim. The second time that uh, the scooter was down for a little while was because I didn't learn my lesson from the first time. I was speeding in a neighborhood that I didn't know and I tried to buddy hop the pothole and I ended up smashing the back rim uh, and then the third time that the scooter was down was because my the scooter reached about I think we were already at uh, 3,000 miles at that time and I had the uh, the steering column uh, upgraded from aluminum to steel and then we also had a few of the screen NFC, basically like uh, quality of life upgrades uh, added to the added to the scooter there, um, along with the new charging caps, um, new suspension, etc. So a couple of quality of life things, but other than that, it's been extremely, extremely reliable. I've ridden this scooter in every possible condition that you could that you could imagine um, I've done and one of the group rides I ended up on the beach in the sand I've ridden in rain uh, sleet uh, light snow salted roads um, wildfire smoke <laughs> like insanely sub-zero arctic weather um insanely hot new york city summers even when we got flooded if you guys remember kind of like that uh flood mageddon that we had for a little while there uh i i rode the scooter then and yeah <laughs> it's it's kept on keeping on and the one thing that has allowed me to kind of keep it going is i always treat my scooter with respect and i always have the guys at fluid free ride uh my homie ed i always have them maintaining the scooter and constantly checking in on it mm -hmm. uh at the end of the day 
I treat the scooter as if it were a high the high performance machine that it is not the way that some people treat it as like a uh, disposable toy so extremely reliable look at this schmuck Yeah, I mean, the the scooter's been incredible. Uh, the design has aged well. Everything that I mentioned in my first ever review video that when I did the long, uh, long-term uh, review video for the Bernie, that was my first review video ever and one of the most stressful videos I've ever made as a new content creator because I've never spliced together so many video clips. And it got to the point that I, I didn't even have enough space to use all the b-roll that I wanted. So it was really, really interesting. But everything that I said in that video still stands. Uh, it's It really is an incredible scooter. And I would, in a heartbeat, still, uh, two years later, almost three years later, I would still say, hands down, one of the best most complete packages the bernie is no longer the fastest the bernie is no longer the quickest it's not the biggest and it's not the baddest anymore but at the end of the day i still feel that the bernie delivers the most complete package thank you I mean, I've ridden a ton of scooters over the last two years, even before YouTube and the, the Bernie. It's just there's there's nothing there's nothing quite like it on the market. I'm sure eventually there will be something. Wow, people want to want to die today. I think eventually there will be more scooters like it on the market, but it was kind of like that first beast scooter high performance scooter with amazing design amazing ride quality and amazing performance but you know design and design language is always going to be subjective but the way it makes you feel is 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 incredible so would i do it again absolutely and <laughs> i mean i really am so sad like that i'm letting it go like i'm i don't want to say devastated because it's not that serious but i'm i'm really saddened by <laughs> by passing it on i i made all these upgrades to it assuming that i was gonna have it for a long time but you know sometimes life happens and you just gotta kind of roll with the punches and like i said hopefully we'll revisit it in the future now if you like this content please consider giving the video a thumbs up as it really helps out the channel uh, leave a comment down below and if you just want to say hi also feel free to just say hi in the comment section down below there's also going to be an icon here in the bottom right with my logo on it uh, please consider hitting that and subscribing and just make sure you turn on the bell notification so that uh, i can notify you anytime a video comes out and at the end of the day we are here at Fluid Free, and it's almost time to say goodbye. Thank you for accompanying me on this ride, the last ride of the Nami Bernie, and <clears throat> I'll catch you guys on the next one.
How you how you feel today with the roller coaster of emotions? You're unboxing something new, but you're also letting go of something. So, the one more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 There's no way to that much lighter. This is pre-powder coating, guys. <laughs>